We have witnessed this morning the presence and participation of many artists on an Indian from the Sudan. I think we have to give them a clap, they entertain us a lot. We have also witnessed some football players arriving in the airport, I saw it the other day in the TV. Mubruga, Mubruga, then they have to go to the airport. That is part of the two people's collaboration and solidarity celebrations between these two historic nations. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, people in both sisterly countries have been waiting for such a remarkable occasion and activities to sign the cooperation agreements of 2013. However, due to some political challenges, most of those protocols in the agreements were not implemented, except for oil metrics. GIAC, as the leading manufacturing company in Sudan, and other companies are all welcome to partner with South Sudanese businesses <laughs> and work together for better mutual economic prosperity of the two peoples. South Sudan is still Belgium is still a new country where all kinds of businesses can get greater opportunities than elsewhere. This is more so as we realize encouraging improvements in security and stability across the country. I believe with the strong capability of their company in different times of its activities and sectors, South Sudan market can gain a competitive advantage in the fields of construction, motors, and spare parts oil and lubricants, heavy trucks, agricultural machineries, and so on and so forth. So now given Harkat Katir Fair, wa Ajimni Katir, wa Bruno. The high the final gitam. We expect your company to provide jobs for our new graduates and experienced workforce. It is our government policy to give priority to local workers except for high-tech positions where we lack domestic skills. Our government, under His Excellency General Kim Nayad, is equally concerned with knowledge transfer and a good succession plan in all sectors. Our government does encourage 
all the best from the neighboring countries and beyond to come and invest in South Sudan. The environment is very conducive, as you must have seen between the day before Sunday for those who arrived the day before Sunday, yesterday, and today, uh, it is lovely. Employment, protection, environment, adhering to regulations from the relevant authorities, etc., etc., all contribute to supporting this most flow of any business uh, operations. It is vital for the two governments to consider mutual and symbiotic benefits of Isimus border access of goods. It has been agreed, you already heard from our Honorable Minister of Defense, Madame Angelina Teng, that all goods across the Sudan and vice versa through the designated entry points will move freely and this is going indeed to boost the economy of the two countries for the first time. But Sudan shall remain a crucial part of South Sudan's commodities. In addition, most countries should, and in fact we, consider lifting visa requirements. For the citizens of the two countries. As that mobility of commodities will then even be easier. The countries of East Africa community will be interested to buy and import products of Gihad Company. So rest assured, Gihad Company, your commodities will not only be for Samsung, they will first be for Samsung. And once our stomachs are full, you can export to any neighboring interested country. <laughs> you will get all forms of um, facilitation from the government of South Sudan. We will stand with you. In conclusion, I would like once again to appreciate your invitation, giving me the honor to be the chief guest of this occasion. You will surely get the support, not only from the economic cluster, and we have the Apple Minister of Investments here, and all this is done through his ministry, so the economic cluster as well as the entire government, as I already emphasized with this time with you. I'm happy and pleased to declare that the branch of Giyak uh, Industries group of companies located here in South Sudan is here officially open. Mubruk Alim Kudu. 